Very passionate about cycling. Um, you know, what I think a lot of people don't understand is it's, it's not just a toy, it's not just recreational, it's, it's a means, a legitimate means of transportation that for so long, because our, our, our society has been so automobile-centric, you know, it's been sort of marginalized for years, and it's, it's strongly, the automobile is strongly ingrained in our culture. Henry Ford did, you know, seriously good work. Um, the roads were originally built for bicycles. However, it didn't take long as automobiles began to blossom and were affordable. Um, that they marginalized bicycles. It was a poor man or a sporting man who played on those machines. Went to a garage sale and picked up a beautiful old 10-speed Moto Bacan. It was gorgeous. It was like reigniting a fire in me. And I've never not been on a bike since. There is nothing about cycling that doesn't appeal to me. Its form, its purpose are so simple and so pure that hopefully I'll be able to ride for the next 30 years. I, I would be a gift. There are sounds and smells and feelings and I just, you know, it's just, it's just a wonderful experience. John Forrester put it best when he said, bicycles fare best when they act and are treated as vehicles. The times are changing, and I'm thinking even in my lifetime, I'll see significant changes in our transportation infrastructure. Columbus, Central Ohio here where I live, has become much more sensitive to its population needing alternatives to the automobile. Look at our war in Iraq. Look at our look at our passionate following of Syria, the Middle East, where much of the world's oil, we think, still resides. We're willing to allow thousands of young men and women die. For that, for the fight to be in there and have that resource, imagine if the automobile wasn't the primary mover of people and things to support industries that farm and exploit other people to gain access to those resources. The bike is so simple. Imagine if we just were bicycling, how much less pressure the war machine would, would put on American politicians to be quick to either arm others or go to war ourselves over these limited, unsustainable resource grabs. Right. Our world would be a totally different place. Right. What I've seen within the last, I'd say, five years has been pretty amazing. The completion of its multi-use pathways, where many people feel safe, there's support for doing so. The mayor is bicycle-centric. The city has paid a lot of attention to some infrastructure changes, not all of them good, but it's a learning process. And recognizing, I think for the first time in my lifetime here, which started in 1969, that bicycling is a legitimate way of getting around. a bicycle shop where you like the way you're treated, buy a bicycle from them. It may cost you $100 more than a Walmart bike, but when that bike needs to be adjusted or you have questions, you can always go back to that shop. Well, where should I get a bike? A bike shop that treats you the way you want to be treated. Yay Bikes is a great conduit for new riders because we offer people a non-threatening group rides on a monthly basis through our Year of Yay program to incorporate very new riders 
and also riders with children who can't go that fast, who may average only seven miles an hour. The rides uh, range in size between 15 and 25 miles. We usually have breakout points for people that don't want to go the full distance to be guided back to the start point. Uh, there's these, these rides are themed, so one time we may have best biking bakeries. There'll be three bakeries with different styles on the people who had never ridden in the streets riding in the streets. But the fact that mothers and fathers with children rode on some of the busiest streets in Columbus with us is inspiring to me. So Year of Yay is a perfect conduit for people who are just trying to get into it. It's a very soft ride, it's a slow pace, it's supported by committed staff who are willing to make sure nobody gets dropped and we have people who are able to fix a flat. There's no excuse for you not to take the opportunity and learn more about Yay Bikes by going to yaybikes.com.